Hi everyone, in this video I will um, walk you through installing Kali 2018 as a VM with uh, a network committer and the Grub bootloader. Uh, so I have the VM here uh, set up such that it has a 20 gigabyte of hard disk space. Um, if you have less than that, you might end up getting a, an installation error uh, because there is not, not enough disk space, so make sure you have at least 20 gigabyte of available disk space. And I also have the Kali ISO uh, uh, attached to the VM. So I will start the VM here and uh, we'll see uh, how we can get it installed. So you can certainly go down to the um, install option and press enter and we will start a very regular installation with all regular languages and everything. Uh, and we'll see what will happen when we get to the Grub bootloader which will cause an error and we'll see how to fix that. So I'm going through here the typical configuration. There's nothing different. Um, it will just check the network and then we'll do the, um, the formatting of the hard drive. We'll start the installation uh, and then we'll see what happens. So network configuration is successful. I'll keep the host name as Kali and no domain name. And uh, then you will be prompted to enter a root password. You can choose whatever password you want to uh, choose. Enter and confirm and continue. And I'll set the time zone to Easter. Right now we're at the hard disk space part. So um, I'll keep the default configuration at this point to write the changes to the disk. I will choose yes and press enter. And then the installation will start. This may take some time. Um, so I will uh, leave the uh, system peacefully install Kali and I'll get back to you once uh, Kali installation is done. As you can see, the system is about to finish installation. And at this point, it asks you if you want to have a network emitter uh, for your installation or not. At this point, I will uh, choose yes. If you choose no, then you, will, you should not have a problem in the next coming steps. However, if you choose yes, then you will face a problem with installing the Grub boot loader, which we will fix in this video. So um, I pressed yes, and I don't have any uh, HTTP proxy uh, on my network, so I would just press another uh, enter. And I will let it configure uh, the network emitter. At this point, Kelly will try to install the uh, Grub bootloader, but you will receive this uh, red error message that says that Kali was not able to uh, install the Grub PC package. If you press continue, it will take you back. It will take you to an installation step failure message. You'll press continue, and uh, it will take you back to the main menu, and it's uh, highlighting the install the Grub bootloader on a hard disk. If you try to do it again, you will get the same error message again. Here we go. Continue. Continue. So in order to fix that, we have to mount a few directories such that these directories and files in the uh, bind mount that we will do uh, are the same as the original. Uh, this will fix the problem uh, for installing the Grub bootloader and we'll be able to continue with our installation. So in order to fix that, you need to go down to execute a shell, press enter, and then press continue, which will open up a shell for you. So the first uh, mount command that we need to use is to mount dash dash bind, and then we want to mount the dev directory to target dev. Press enter, 
and then mount dash dash bind dev pts to target slash dev slash pts and then mount dash dash bind proc to target por proc and as you can see here i just mistyped target so i will go back and fix it so we receive some kind of an a message here so let me try to type this command again so it's mount dash dash bind proc to slash target there's a space in there i found it i was wondering why did we get this message but there was a space here and now it works fine then our last mount command is for the sys directory to mount to target uh, target sys now we're done uh, we need to change the root directory to bin bash so we will type change root from target to bin bash this will make us root a Kali. Then we'll type uh, the uh, apt-get install command to install grub pc package ourselves, And click enter. And here we type a capital letter Y for yes and press enter. And wait until all the downloads are uh, downloaded and all the installation is completed when you get this uh, message you can simply uh, press Q it will continue with the extraction and installation of the package At this point, the, uh, the installation for uh, grub uh, PC package is done, so we will type exit and it will take us out of the uh, root at Kali to the normal terminal and then we'll type up exit again, which will get us to the same installer menu. At this time, we can simply press enter to install the uh, grub bootloader and it should work fine and the installation should continue with no further problems. Um, you get the normal message that you get uh, when there's no problems with installing the Grub bootloader. So uh, it says, do you want to install the Grub bootloader to the master boot record? We'll press enter to say yes. And then we'll choose the dev SDA uh, here as the device. And then we are going to choose yes. And the installation should go pretty smooth. As you can see, we just got the message that says the installation is complete. We simply uh, press continue. It uh, continues removing some packages and then the machine will restart and we will get to log in or sign in into our new Kali. Okay, as you can see, Kelly has finished the installation and now we are um, just booting up the installed, the newly installed Kelly 2018. The lovely Kelly login window comes up, so I will choose username root and password tour and sign in and we are signed in if you have any questions or comments uh, please feel free to post them um, in the comment section 
Uh, if there's anything uh, we can help with, we will certainly do our best to help you. Take care and see you in another video. Thank you.